More COVID vaccines, more shots in arms. That's the goal. About 25% of people are fully vaccinated in our area, but a decrease in volunteers to help at vaccination clinics is slowing things down. The night team's Jonathan Cotto with how you can help. The demand for the vaccine is still out there in the community. There is still a high demand for the vaccine, but the manpower to deliver the vaccine is declining. When the vaccine rollout started at the Alamo Dome in December, there were about 90 volunteers per shift per day. That amount decreasing significantly. Today we had about 25, 23, 25 this morning and about 13 in the afternoon. While med centers experiencing the same decline in helping hands and say it's been this week in particular that they've been short on volunteers. We've had a really steady stream of people willing to help, but for some reason for the past five to seven days, we've seen a decline there. I don't really know exactly why. I do think it has something to do with the increase in supply, but what has not changed is there are people coming in every day who want that shot. The goal for both organizations to get as many people as possible vaccinated, taking up the least amount of time. Pratt says they want their clients in and out within 25 minutes. Without that sufficient amount of people power, we can't meet that goal. And we want we want everybody in and out in a safe and effective manner. And it takes a lot of people to do that. Volunteers also calling for more volunteers. It's really not that hard. You just have to go on the city's website and they'll give you a link and everything to that. And I think that it Everybody out here is so nice and they treat you so well and everybody is so appreciative. Both WellMed and Metro Health receiving a heavy shipment of vaccines from the state to earlier this week. Another reason for their big push were medical and non-medical volunteers. Garza says in most cases, volunteers can schedule their vaccination appointment the very same day. For more on this story on how you can register to help, you can head on over to KSAT.com. Reporting live, Jonathan Cotto, 10 pieces.